Hey guys. So if you saw the title of the video, then you may know what this is in reference to and you may not. I'm going to leave a link in the description box to a video and um, if you watch that video then what I'm going to talk about will make a lot more sense and it's worth watching anyway because it's so powerful of a message and to me it's a very positive thing. So if you haven't seen the video yet then go watch that now and come back. I'll wait. No. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm assuming now that you've seen the video. What this is is Sleek's new campaign. My face, my rules. And I love this. Uh, let me just read, you, read to you. It's like three sentences on their website that talks a little bit about the video. It says, we've spent the last few years watching the makeup world explode, with more and more people becoming obsessed with the latest techniques and products. Sadly, we've also seen the rise of makeup shaming. My face, my rules is our way of positively recognizing and standing up for everyone's right to define their own beauty without boundaries. It's our way of saying it's okay to be obsessed with makeup to put whatever you want on your face whenever and however you want. We're making it our mission to combat the judgment many of our customers face every day. The negative stereotypes that come with a full face of makeup or a bright red lip or a bold brow. This is, this is unbelievable that this is even an issue to me because makeup is a form of expression. It's a form of creativity. I don't understand why anyone would have an issue with how I or anyone else does my makeup. Um, yeah, this is crazy. However, I am so proud of Sleek for launching this campaign. It reminds me a little bit of when Nikki Tutorials did that video, The Power of Makeup. Similar sentiment, I think. Um, to what she was trying to say in that video. I have experienced this myself, um, probably more often because I make it's YouTube, probably more often because I make YouTube videos, but I've experienced it in my personal life as well. Makeup shaming. Uh, I got a, a, a comment on one of my videos one time that said, you wear too much makeup. You look like a whore. And <laughs> I thought to myself, I don't wear half as much makeup as a lot of the other people that make videos do. But I was really taken aback by that. And um, I've had people even in my own life, uh, you know, like I would be out shopping with someone and uh, I would go to look at a makeup item and I don't, I don't want to name names or anything, but the person that was with me would look at what I was looking at and they'd say, it's kind of dark, isn't it? And, you know, the best way to handle that is to just say something like, uh, I like it. And, you know, they can't really say anything else after that. But I don't know why people make comments or judgments like that. It's like, if I like something, then... Who are you to say that it's not right? It, it's my, like the campaign says, my face, my rules. And I love how in the video they, um, they show people of different genders and different um, ethnicities. And I just, I like the way they just brought everyone in because there are a lot of guys that like to do makeup that like to wear makeup. And uh, I mean, just the success of people like Jeffree Star, good example. Jeffree Star is a perfect example of um, not just my face, my rules, but my life, my rules. I mean, think about it. He is one of the most popular people in the beauty world on YouTube now, maybe even the most popular that is still making videos. Um, if not the most popular, then he's got to be in the top five. And 
He is very unapologetic about who he is and the way he lives his life. Uh, he is a man, but he takes on the persona of a woman. I mean, that's crossing pretty much every boundary there is to cross, you know? He, he lives with a man. He's in a serious relationship with a man. He is a man. But yet, to look at him, he's looks like a woman, very feminine, lots of makeup, lots, very glam, lots of uh, designer clothes and whatnot. And I know that he has a somewhat controversial past, but I'm not talking about that here. I'm just talking about like who he is now. And um, in the last few years, I guess is what I'm trying to say is that it has become okay for guys to wear makeup. Now, it's hard to um, go beyond that, though, because people like Jeffree Star, Manny MUA, they're gay. So what I'm starting to see now is in other countries, it is becoming acceptable for straight men to wear makeup. And that's really crossing some boundaries. And I think a lot of people, if this comes to the United States and becomes more... Um, common place or mainstream, I think a lot of people are going to have some problems with that. I personally do not. I think it's so cool. I think it would be so fun to, if everybody wore makeup, regardless of their gender, their um, sexual preferences, whatever, I think that would be a blast to just have everybody be into makeup. And it's, it's such a, a great form of self-expression. You know, life is short, you guys. A few months ago, my neighbor across the street died. Just the other day, our uh, neighbor a couple of doors down died. The ambulance just left the house next door on the other side of me. Life is short. Don't take it for granted. If something makes you happy, do it. Don't be concerned with what other people think or say to you about choices that you make for yourself. It's your life and you need to live it for you, not for anybody else. I think that when people criticize other people, it says more about who they are rather than who you are. You know, in the YouTube community, there's a lot of negativity there's a lot of hate. Uh, all you have to do is go to anybody's video that, especially people that are popular, and just read some of the comments and keep reading. Now, there are some great people out there, and there are some, you know, nice people, kind people that leave positive comments, but there's a lot of haters too. And, you know, some people will say, oh, it's constructive criticism, or I have the right to speak my opinion. You have the right to speak your opinion, but what does leaving hate, what does that accomplish? How is that going to make the world any better for you or the person whose video you're leaving the comment on? Usually things like that end up being an argument in the comment section between people who like the person whose video they're watching and people who don't and just came there to spread hate. I will never in a million years understand why anyone would watch a video, spend their valuable time watching a video by somebody they don't like. Um, I have consistently thumbs down on my videos a certain number every day. And if you are one of those people that are doing that, please don't waste your precious time watching my video when you hate me. And you might be saying, oh, well, I don't hate you. I just gave it a thumbs down because I didn't like that video. Well, if I'm getting several thumbs down every, every single day, chances are it's the same person. It, person doing it over and over. Your life is precious. Don't waste it. Find someone else on YouTube 
that you do like so that you can give it a thumbs up. Don't spend your time hating on me. It doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah. And, um, I don't know. You know, I used to be friends with someone here on YouTube that was very popular. And she was friends with someone that was even more popular than her. I'm talking millions of subscribers. I'm not going to name names or anything like that, but the person that I was friends with asked the other person who had millions of subscribers, we're talking years ago, she said, how do you deal with the hate and negativity that you see in the comment section on your videos? And she said, very easy. I don't read the comments. So, you know how on the really popular people's videos, you never see answers to questions or comments, or they might like leave one response and that's it. But most of the time you don't see anything. That's why, because that is the easiest way for people that make videos to deal with the hate. Now, I don't want to do that personally, but if it reaches a point where it makes me uncomfortable and not want to make videos, I may have to do that too. Because, you know, everybody thinks that, oh, well, if you put yourself out there, you have to be equipped to deal with all the negativity that comes with it. That's par for the course. Why does it have to be? You know, people don't make videos to get hated on. People make videos because they enjoy doing it. So what? either that or another option would be just disable the comments on all the videos. You know, that's there um, so that people that want to leave a comment can, but it's a, you don't want it to be a case of these people spoiling it for everyone else, you know, that type of thing. So, yeah, that would be an option too. Um, if I get real hate, I block that person and, you know, they can't um, leave comments anymore. But there are different levels of hate. Uh, some people just get off on leaving negative comments. And most of the time, I just don't even respond to it. But a lot of times, and I've seen this with some of the more popular people in their social media, they feel like they have to defend themselves. And then when they try, it just... It, it never ends up working the way they want it to. They feel like they have to try to explain themselves when really it just brings up more questions and it's, it's not really worth it. So anyways, um, my point of making this, this, my whole point to making this video is that makeup is a form of expression and um, do what you want. Don't pay attention to what the rules are or anything like that. Wear what you want to wear. Wear it the way you want to wear it. And if it makes you happy, then do it. And, you know, that should extend to beyond makeup, too. If there's something else in your life that you want to do that is an expression of who you are, then do it. As long as you're not breaking any laws or hurting anybody, do it. Uh, because the next thing you know, your life will have passed you by and you'll wonder, how did I get here? I'm 57 years old and um, I am at a point where I sometimes will get a comment um, from either on YouTube or somebody that I know that will be like, don't you think you're kind of old for and then fill in the blank. No, uh, you know, I'm living my life and I'm trying to make decisions that bring me happiness. And if certain things bring me happiness and I'm not hurting anybody or breaking any laws, then why the hell not? So live your life the way you want to and don't worry about anybody else because most of the people who bring negativity to other people have issues within themselves and that's why they do it and uh, I realize that but you know words still hurt anyway 
So, uh, yeah, we shall see what the future holds. I've been thinking for a while now about either just not reading the comments anymore or um, just disabling the comments on all the videos. As it is now, I don't leave the comments open very long, as I'm sure you know. So, but I don't really want to do that, so I will prolong it as long as I can. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.